What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Hellfire with MachineMasters.com, bringing you another Machine Masters tutorial on the MPC Renaissance. Um, so one thing I, I, I often see popping up online is um, how to manage your CPU usage in the MPC software. And, um, and I see people often having trouble with uh, high P, a high CPU meter and, you know, audio, you know, popping and clicking when they use VST instruments. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a small tip of how to reduce that using multi-timbral instruments. Um, I notice a lot of people aren't taking advantage of this, maybe because they aren't aware that that this is a feature in the software. But um, the purpose of a multi-timbral instrument is basically so you can use several different instrument tracks using only one instance of a plugin. So for example, I can open up Native Instruments Contact, you know, and uh, have only one instance of that plugin, but still have up to 16 different um, instruments playing on 16 different tracks in the MPC using only one instance of contact. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing you want to do is go to your first track um, in the MPC and you want to change it to a drum uh, from a drum track to a plug-in track. And then you want to insert contact doesn't really matter which one I mean, you could use the eight out one so once that loads you can open up the instrument plug-in window by clicking the little E and then let's just say I want to load I don't know I just load a piano So now I have my piano sound loaded in on track one. So I'll just record a quick little corny melody. Yeah, it's whack, but so what? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to um, track two. So I'm going to change track two from MIDI channel one to MIDI channel two. And then I'm going to go back into contact. And let's say I want to load up. Uh, I load up. Uh, whatever, a uh, drum track or something. So the first thing you'll notice when this loads is that um, the MIDI channel automatically changes to track uh, to MIDI channel two on, on your next uh, on the next library you load. And you'll see that the first one is on MIDI channel a one. So basically, that's the whole key behind getting this to work, is having your tracks set to the MIDI channel that corresponds to the instrument that you want that track to go to. So right now I have the MPC on track two, you can see here. So when I play the pads, it's gonna trigger my drums. Now if I change this to track one, is going to trigger the piano. So I'll go to my drum track and I'll just lay something down right quick. Thank you. 
without even um, stopping the sequencer, you can just keep moving right along. So I'm going to go to track three. I'm going to set track three to MIDI channel three, which is right here. I'll go back into contact. Rickenbacker bass automatically goes to MIDI channel 3. So that's basically it. You could just keep building and building. You know, obviously you don't want to make something whack like this, but the point is you can just build upon this. And because I'm, I only have one instance of this plugin open, the CPU usage is kept to a minimum. And you don't have to keep it confined to just one instance of contact. You can use as many instances of contact as you like, or you can use other multi-temporal instruments. And um, the MIDI channel, the 16 MIDI channels you get for that one um, plug-in instance is for that plug-in instance. So if you open up a, a different plug-in instance, uh, whether it's contact or another a completely different other instrument, you get another 16 channels specifically for that instrument. So you might have, you know, two different tracks that might be both set to MIDI channel one or two tracks to set to MIDI channel two, but because those are um, rooted to different instruments, they aren't going to trigger each other or overlap um, each other, uh, so to speak. Now, the only disadvantage to using contact like this is you'll notice that when I go into the track mixer, I only have one channel for contact. So basically, all four of my, uh, these are basically MIDI tracks. All four of my MIDI tracks are coming out of the actual contact. This will be the audio track. So whatever plugins I put on this chain here is going to affect everything um, within, within that one instance of contact. So if you want to use different um, plug-in effects on each of your four tracks, you're going to have to use a separate instance of contact for each one. You can't um, use individual inserts for multi-timbral instrument or for each track in a multi-timbral instrument plug-in that's the only disadvantage but um like i said actually there is one other disadvantage that i forgot to mention um because this is all coming out of one audio channel when you go to export this is going to export all four of these tracks to one file so if you want to separate these into four different stems you're going to have to mute three of them and then export one then mute that one, unmute the next one, export that one, and so on, just like that, until you have all four of your stems. But that's for another video.
like I said, um, it helps save CPU. I mean, it's not going to make a miracle. You know, obviously the NPC isn't multi-core yet. So once they do add that, you know, it, uh, um, you'll have much more improved CPU usage even over this multi-timbral method. But for now, you know, take advantage of, of this method um, if you don't need you know, um, separate plugins on each track, um, and, and help cut down your CPU usage and keep your audio clean. And it helps you be able to run your, your audio buffer at a lower setting and, you know, keep the latency down. This also works with, you know, not just contact, it, it also works with, you know, uh, I have Omnisphere here. Um, it works with that. Not all VSTs are multi-timbral, so, um, it's not going to work with every instrument you have, but, you know, some of the bigger ones like contact Omnisphere and stuff like that, um, you'll be able to use this method. Um, so once again, um, this is Hellfire with MachineMasters.com. Any questions, leave a comment and, uh, try to get back to you. Peace.